Today, we will be looking at Margaret Fuller and her work, The Great Lawsuit. The subtitle of this essay is Man vs. Man and Woman vs. Woman. She wrote on a stand for women's rights in the Transcendentalist movement. She learned about and became involved in the Transcendentalist movement, primarily in college. She attended the University of Harvard. Uh, she was able to attend this university because of the academic pressure she re received as a child. Transcendentalism can be defined from the Oxford English Dictionary as an idealistic phil philosophical and social movement that developed in New England around 1836 in reaction to rationalism influenced by Romanticism Platonism, and Kantian philosophy. It taught that divinity pervades all nature and humanity, and its members held progressive views on feminism and communal living. Ralph Waldo Emerson and David, Henry David Zero were central figures. In this picture, you can see those two central figures, and these were all figures in the Transcendentalist movement. On the right here, you see Margaret Fuller. Margaret Fuller started working for the Dow when she got out of college. This was a um, this was a popular uh, magazine of the time. One of Fuller's most prominent essays that she wrote in the Dow about women's rights playing into the transcendentalist movement was called "The Great Lawsuit." Hey. The Great Lawsuit was a feminist book because men and women were looked at as different and unequal at the time. This is a picture of The Great Lawsuit, the article. The subtitle, Men vs. Men and Woman vs. Woman, wasn't exactly just man vs. woman. She more viewed it as man being humanity together as an equal part against as on one mission in the human mission. The effects on women uh, from this essay, uh, women were looked at differently, especially in the role of the household and in marriage. Um, they before were looked at as not being able to have careers and just withstanding the household uh, and children, but the, um, the great lawsuit changed people's point of view on that, and also when it came to women voting and making decisions, um, their view was changed on that.